Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna make something really cute and springy tonight. My hair's doing something crazy over here. So if you're watching replay, I appreciate you watching. Just drop me a hashtag replay in the comments so I'll know. And um, <coughs> we're gonna do something springy tonight. No pom-poms, just springy. Hey Arlene. Ugh. I've been running around and I realized at the last minute, oh, I didn't have something I needed. And I was like, oh gosh, I gotta get it. Um, hey, Lori, hey, Dom and Pam. Y'all are so sweet to hop on with me and let's create something. I'm gonna show y'all some stuff tonight that I'm excited about. And I'm trying to get this string out of this sign. Hey, Bertha. Yes, ready for spring. I am too. It's cold and rainy here. Hey, Susan. Just, this is one of those little things. It's got like that little shoestring on the back and you just kind of poke it back through the sign and I'm trying to get it out, that little plastic thing. Um, hey, Cindy and Tracy. I am well. My back's still giving me fits, but I'm well. So it comes and goes and right now I'm okay. <laughs> so we'll just see. Um, Tracy, you're live. This isn't the replay, but if you're watching the replay, you can put replay. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Andrea. Uh, Andrea, that's something that's coming out next week. Hobby Lobby half the day. Rexanne, I could too, so we can go together, right? Because I could stay in there all day and look at all the things a, a couple of times. <laughs> hey, Carla and Twyla. Um, hey, Cal Callie. Oh, thank you. I just put on this sweatshirt and now I'm kind of second guessing it because I'm hot in here. Um, <clears throat> the bubble bean up. Y'all don't miss anything. Y'all, y'all, I can't get nothing by y'all. So these little guys are coming out next week and of course they'll be blank when you get them. Um, but isn't that so cute? But I put the bees on this one. I just did him in the bees um, just because I just kind of felt like he needed to be bees. But you know, I couldn't just make one. I had to make four because I, they all needed friends. I mean, they're the exact same gnome, but I just did them different colors. But see how they have the mustache and the flowers and the little... Where's his stand? His stand's over here. <laughs> I hadn't glued them, but yeah. So there he is. Isn't he cute? Raining cats and dogs. Laura, it has been for like three days. It's been raining cats and dogs here. Cold and snowy. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> I knocked him over. Okay, and his little stand ain't wanting to stay on. But anyway, I gotta glue them. I hadn't glued them. But anyway, aren't they cute? Look at the dots on his hat. It's so stinking cute. But yeah, then I decided, I did these three the other day. Cause you know, I have to cut stuff like three or four times sometimes. And this one, his little peg is not long enough to go in the stand and that's why he's falling over. So I had to make it longer and redo him. So that's why he's falling, but like this one stays on. But I did this one today because I thought, okay, they needed a pink friend. So these little guys will come out next week and it's just one gnome um, that you get. But how adorable. I couldn't help it because now I want one in all the rainbow colors. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Snow and ice in Southern Illinois. I know it's the snow is north of us, like right up north of Memphis. Yay, you got your pom-pom maker. Yay, Martha. You want to learn to paint like that. Penny, it's not hard. It's really not hard. Those little dots, that's the little dotting tools I have. But like on him, I just painted him my favorite turquoise. And then I just took a darker color and kind of shaded the edges with it. And made a little crease right here for his hat. And a crease up there that you can barely see. But that's all I did sun shining oh my goodness i know the pink one his little dots aren't perfect round because i was in a hurry and trying to they wouldn't dry and i was dotting and yeah wouldn't wasn't happening <clears throat> so that's my little gnome my little gnome people that i have uh been <laughs> having a fun time painting um but the b one he's so cute i need to do a ladybug one too <clears throat> you have to have those gnomes kim Oh, Lindy's on here. Hey, Carrie. Lindy's on here. Hey, Jan. Okay, so tonight we're going to do something. No pom-poms. <laughs> it's going to be a spring craft. I got this sign at the Dollar Tree. 
I've already popped off. If y'all see these signs, if nothing else, get it for just this rabbit because I popped him off with my little scraper thing and I sanded off a lot of the glitter. And then I put some Mod Podge over the glitter because while I was working on it, I didn't want blue glitter everywhere. So I just put, you can see it, I put a coat of Mod Podge over it after I sanded it. Cause you know, you can't get that stuff off. Ice storm tonight, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to, Pam, not yet. They'll be all released. I'm gonna show you some other stuff too um, that's coming out, but um, it's gonna be next week. So I still got uh, one thing that I gotta start cutting and cut a bunch of, and then it's all gonna get released. 81 yesterday, 71 today. Janet, it was like 60 or 70. Look at that bead. That's, that something happened to that. <laughs> That's funny. These are just my split little uh, bead. You've been making pom-poms because I'm watching you. I know they're so fun. You can't help it. Um, okay. So I'm just getting my little split, split balls, split beads, whatever you want to call them. Because I want to put these on before I paint this. I'm painting the back. Just because I don't want to worry with that glitter and the raised part where you'll still be able to see it. So, I'm just flipping it to the back. Let's put some on the edge and put one. Hang on. I'm trying to get them centered. This is just going to add something at the top and the bottom of our little sign. No, Judy. Um, they'll, it's going to open around the 1st. If you get on the wait list, you're going to get an email maybe the day or so before. Jay and I have cut a lot. I've got, I got stuff. You can't even see my big work table because there's so much stuff that's already been cut, packed, and stacked on that table. Um, hey, Gail. Um, I picked it up again. That weird one. Let me put it out of the bag. That way, and we'll pick it up again. Okay. Why am I getting more out of the bag when I got some sitting right here? Oh, scrape it off. It's a miracle. Oh, Barb, I got to try that then. All right. So I'm putting, see my split balls? Do y'all see them? I'm just putting them at the top and the bottom just to give it a little something something up there. And I was hoping that I could cover up the holes with it, but it's not, it's not working out unless I put more. Maybe I should put more so I can cover up my, the holes. Cindy's like, cut a lot. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, you can see my table over there. You'd be like, oh my goodness. Uh, Elaine, I have a shop. A Shopify store. Um, somebody will probably throw <coughs> the link up. Angela, if you'll go to my main page, I posted about the wait list. I posted about it today also. So you can get on the wait list and you will get an email like maybe a couple days before and, you know, telling you when it's going to open, what time, and all that kind of stuff. Hey, Paula. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And I spent. <laughs> Um, Kathy, we're going to make a spring sign and I have a template for y'all too, for this craft. Um, I spent a good part of the day putting this together, the idea together and getting everything, um, situated. So I'm going to, I'm going to hot glue these on first because I want to, um, I want to paint over them. New Orleans area. Oh, y'all getting ready for Mardi Gras too. So I'm just hot gluing these on. I hope y'all have had a good week. Yes, Lauren, I will do that. Um, I can, I mean, I'll paint, I can paint one on live. They are super cute. And I just fell in love with those little guys. And I'm not usually big when they have um, eyes, but his little eyes are like little beady eyes. So it's not so bad. Hey, Ann, I'm good. My back is... Um, I go to the chiropractor. I was going three times a week. Now I'm going twice a week. So I'm working my way down, but I just, I'm still having fits with it. Uh, Becky, I'm staying warm. Okay. I got that, that side done. Let's flip up here and do this top the top. Uh Oh, you can't respond to comments. Uh, Kaylee. Um, anyway, if you want to find my shop, you can go to my main page on Facebook and there's a link there and it'll take you to my shop. If we need rainbow gnomes. Yes. <laughs> Y'all need one of every color? Uh, it's just going to be one gnome candy. 
Because I have a lot of people, like when I put out a tear tray set or something, I have a lot of people that um, that say, oh, I don't want the whole set. I just want the gnome. And so this time I thought, well, I'm just going to put out a gnome by himself. Um, how do you get to the main page? If you just tap my face, the little black box will pop up at the bottom. I think it's black. The screen, and it'll have the name of my page right there. And you can click that and go straight from there if you want to. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now I've got, this is what I've got. And this is what the sign looks like to start with. I took the rabbit off. And this, this is what I have so far. So I'm going to um, paint this. Hey, from Miami, Miami, Oklahoma. That sounds weird. I was going to say Miami, Florida, but it's not even Florida. It's Miami, Oklahoma. That's funny. Okay, so I'm just pouring out my Waverly excuse me, Waverly white chalk paint. This is going to be super springy. Um, and the, how this came about is I saw a picture of something and I was like, now how can, and it wasn't even what I'm doing. It was just a picture. And I said, hmm, how can I recreate this and make it into a sign or a craft or something? And so this is how this came about. So today, I have been, um, like I said, I've been, I spent a good part of the day in here trying to get this together, um, to get it to be like I want it to be. So, Cindy, they're in my Amazon shop. Um, I know my Amazon links at the top of the group page, I think, if you're in the group, free group. So, I'm just giving this a, um, quick coat, which is not really quick, is it? <laughs> These little bead things or split balls or whatever they are, half beads. They're not real easy to paint around, but once I get past those, we'll be good. Oh, yes, you can. You can paint them like that. It's not hard. It's really not. You just have to take it in steps. You're, you're looking at the whole thing like, oh, my gosh, look at all that stuff. And um, But it's just steps. And that's what I tell everybody. It's just steps. So... You can paint like that. All right, so let me get around all these little guys. And it makes me question, should I put them on there? Because I have to paint around them all. <laughs> but I wanted to paint with them on there. Um, do you know we're making like a spring type sign? Um, and the template that I'm going to use for this, uh, what I'm putting on here, is going to be in the group. So I, when I get off, you have a Miami and Ohio, too? Oh, goodness, Sharice. I'm so sorry. We'll be praying for him. Now I've got hot glue strings in my paint. Um, I'll put the template for what I'm doing tonight in the group so y'all can do the same thing. Um, <clears throat> I like the little templates. That's easy. And plus, I like to be able to... Um, how do I paint and I get paint on... Look, I've got paint on my arm from painting that today. I set my arm down on the little dots, and I got paint all over me. <laughs> I'm trying not to get it on my clothes, but I'll have it on my hands, and I'll, I'll wash my hands and shower or whatever after this, and then in the morning, I'll find some paint on the back of my arm that made it through the shower or whatever. <laughs> hey, Sherry. Hey, Missy. All right, so I'm just... Painting this white, and it's not going as quick as I wanted it to, but that's all right. We can chat. Yes, it's just paint. So, and especially on my wood, um, my wood cutouts. If you paint it and you don't like it, just sand it off. It's just wood. So when you sand it, it's going to be wood under there. Um, it might take a little elbow grease because uh, I have had to do it. So don't. Um, don't think you can't. So you can definitely sand it off and start over. Because like I said, it's just wood and you'll sand it down and it'll still be wood. So <laughs> um, if you don't like it, sand it off. And that's what's so great about my cutouts is that they are wood and you know, they're gonna last and you know, you can paint and sand it off if you don't like it. 
Uh, Sandy, if you'll go to my main page, I posted about the, no. The wait list is for my mini subscription. Hey, Debbie. Um, the, that's the wait list. Next week is when I'll release of the spring stuff. Take acrylic paint right out of your clothes. Judy, I did not know that, but thank you because I use that awesome cleaner um, to clean my lasers with. So, yes, I have a, a stock of that. So, um, the wait list is for the subscription if you want to get in on that. And then, but the, the spring stuff is going to be released next week. Hey, Nancy from Kansas. Yes, gnomes will be next week. All right. Y'all, next week is March. Do y'all realize it's March? It's like, where did February go? I thought January took forever, and then February has been... I blinked, and it's gone. Oh, no. Oh, Diana, you passed out with the hot water running. I'm so sorry. We'll definitely say a prayer for him. Heart frames. Oh, you found heart frames at Walmart? Oh, cool. I never even thought to look at Walmart, but I know Michaels and Dollar Tree has those, the bunny frame, the heart frame. And everybody's doing them, and they're so cute to look at because everybody's looks different, and I love seeing everybody's in the group. Okay, so I got this first coat on here. I know this is, I could have definitely done this ahead of time, but then people would ask me, what'd you do to it? I want to see how you did it. <clears throat> so that's why I'm doing it now. <laughs> Trying to get up under some of those, the edge of those beads. Okay. So we're going to give it a quick dry. Hey, Kelly. I was looking forward to this because I missed Monday night. Um, I had a bunch of, um, I wouldn't say a bunch, but several. I had to, um, I had to change out some feelings that I have had since I was a kid. And then a couple of micro um, cavities I had. So... I, I didn't I do remember now that I told them a, several months ago oh yeah we'll just do it all in one day we'll just get it all my nose is itching now <laughs> we'll get it all done in one day just numb it up once we'll be good I was numb all around here this is the only part of my mouth that I could feel was like the corner so I said you know what and it was in the morning that I had it done. And um, I said, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna get on the couch and I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm just gonna sleep it off. Cause it drives me crazy not being able to feel anything. Uh, Terry, no, this is a sign from Dollar Tree. Uh-oh, lose power flickering. Oh no. So anyway, so, uh, I just slip off the numbness. I can't stand that feeling and waiting. It seems like it's forever. So, I just took a nap on the couch for about two hours. And then when I woke up, it was pretty much gone. So, but then I just kind of felt tired. I don't know. So, I was like, eh, and I was sore. Because I had, I mean, I had to hold my mouth open for like two, it was like two and a half hours. Okay. All right. So let's see, that's dry, so let's put another fast, fast coat. The second coat's always quicker, right? So we're gonna put another coat on here really fast. Um, so that's why I wasn't live Monday night. I was just like, done. it had done me in, I don't know. <laughs> oh, goodness. I was like, what was I thinking telling them I could just do them all at once? Yes, Angela, those will be, those gnomes behind me will be in my shop. They'll be blank, of course, for you to finish um, next week. That's just part of my spring stuff that I'm putting out. Oh, Tina, you've missed me. I missed y'all, too. I just could not bring myself Monday night to get off the couch to, <coughs> to do it. I just couldn't. Oh, you got your dryer, and you love it. I love mine, too. Um... Have you ever, have any of y'all ever used embossing powder with those heat tools? I've got some that I've ordered and I have yet to try it and I'm anxious to try it because I saw somebody, I think it was on TikTok and they used some and they were making a card and they used the embossing powder and I was mesmerized. 
Yes, we'll definitely be praying for that 17-year-old. That's so sad. But Nita, those are going to be in my shop um, next week. The blank, you know, the blank wood cutout. Okay. Sorry, guys. I know this is taking forever, but we're fixing to get to it. This is just the, my base, my sign. It's a sign from Dollar Tree. And I just chose to use the back because I didn't want to fight over those words that are kind of raised up with the glitter. And I just do the back. Yeah, I hope he heals quickly. That's terrible. Oh, Benita, so you you know what I'm talking about. I was so mesmerized. I've heard of embossing powder before and in the past. And when I saw the lady use it with the, with the heat tool, I was just like, wow. <laughs> Christine, I am. Um, it's more than likely going to be, because I have it designed. I've designed this one. Um, it's going to be a... a a Christian-based Easter one, Easter tear tray. But I got other things that are coming. Uh, the name of the scissors are Tim Holtz. They're Ionic is what they're called or something like that. Ionic. Did y'all see my tiny pom-poms? Somebody told me, oh, get the tiny pom-pom makers. You won't regret it. They're so cute. So I did, and they're so cute. Yeah, embossing is so cool. And I'm going to do it one night. I need to get it out and play with it. I haven't had a chance to play with the embossing powder. But um, I was like, whoa, this is some cool stuff. Okay. Let's see. All right. My water. Oh, y'all, my nose is wanting to run. It's just so neat. So what embossing powder does is like you have a pen or you have a stamp. It's got special kind of ink in it. If y'all correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm no expert by any means. And you, uh, you like take your stamp and you dip it on this special pad. It's got this special stuff in it, and it's like kind of like glue or something. I don't know. And you stamp it on your paper or whatever you're putting it on, and then you sprinkle the embossing powder over it, and then you take your heat tool and you heat it up, and it just kind of like brightens up and it sticks to that glue uh, and you dust the excess back off into your jar but it's so pretty because it comes in gold and silver and all these different colors and I was just mesmerized you still have all your powders well Dawn I didn't know it was a thing again either um, I never got into the whole card making thing but uh, I saw somebody on TikTok and they were doing like hand lettering with that pen, the embossing pen, and then they put the powder over it and then they heated it up and it was like, it went, they went, they did it like, like they were writing it with the heat tool and it was, it was just so mesmerizing. So I had to uh, try it. Hey Mandy, there's Mandy with Western Grace Home Decor and Design. She makes some cute stuff too. So there's her page. Y'all can go check her out. She makes some cute stuff. Versa Mark. Okay, Joanne. So y'all tell me all about it because I'm not a card maker. Uh, thanks. Sarah, the cordless heating pad, I uh, put it on to go live while ago and I was trying to fiddle around and trying to figure out how to turn it on and it, I couldn't get it fixed right and then I was in a hurry. So it's laying over there, but it was heating up. So, so far so good. It heats up. Okay, so Benita said, yes, that's how it works. Let me get all this off my hands. Okay, so this is what I have thus far. Nothing major, just a white slate. <laughs> oh, y'all, I'm sorry, my nose. Okay. And I think I'm going to distress it with a little bit of, um, I haven't used my mineral in a long time, and I'm kind of scared to see what it looks like. This is mineral, Waverly. And I'm just going to kind of brush a little over it. Can you make... Oh, a paintbrush? I, yeah, I can make a paint cut out paintbrush. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I wish I could hand letter too. I, I can't. All right, so I'm just tapping in my mineral and then tapping off of my brush. And I'm just going to kind of, especially these high parts with these little beads. Um, so we're just getting our surface prepared and then we're going to make something fabulous. We'll just wait and see. It's going to be fabulous. 
embossing is one of your favorite things. It's really cool. So if y'all don't know what embossing is or how it works, go to YouTube and maybe watch somebody do it. And you're gonna be so mesmerized because I was like, oh, that's some cool stuff. Okay. Some of y'all know Mandy. She's my sweet friend. I met her when I was in Nashville too. She's one of my creative friends. Okay. So I'm just kind of, you know, so it won't be just so stark white. I just want to distress it some. Okay. So see, that's why I wanted to put the, the half split balls, beads, whatever they are. That's why I wanted to put them on there first. Okay. Put a little bit. You know, you have to just keep going until you, your eye looks, looks pleasing to you. Okay. There's that. Oh. All right. So, that was this. And now it's this. Yay! You can use this. It like looks like a little serving tray, doesn't it? Okay. Here's the top. I'm not going to use the holes up top, so it doesn't matter. Oh, thank you, Linda. Oh. Uh, Hey, Lisa, I'm, I'm better. I just had dental work done, and I don't like dental work. Um, okay, so let me show y'all what we're going to do now. I'm going to set this kind of to the side. All right, so here is, where is it? <sighs> here is your template. Super, super springy. There's a pink, and then there's a blue. But you can, it has a, each one of them has a, has one that's just black. But if you want to print it out in color, this one's blue. Okay? And I'm just going to get this all over my face. Um, <clears throat> so, this umbrella. These flowers, I'm not going to use the flowers tonight because I thought I was. And then I changed my mind midstream. But you could definitely, uh, these little flower templates, you could use those as a template and cut them out on scrapbook paper and do what I'm going to do uh, with those flowers, with scrapbook paper. That's what I was going to do, and I changed my mind. So I left the flowers on there because I thought maybe you might want them to make you some paper flowers. But they're definitely the Hello Spring. So you'll have, you know, blue and black, or you'll have, I mean, you can print them both out, and there's a pink version too, okay? So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to put that in the group so y'all can cut it out. I mean, do it and... um. Uh, Print it out, and you can have your own umbrella. Um, so, I cut it out this way. I cut out my umbrella, and then I cut out my little, my handle like this, okay? So, then I took it, now you don't have to have foam board, um, but I took a piece of foam board, I laid it on there, I drew it out, and as you can see, I took my X-Acto knife. And I just carefully cut it out. And you can see, it's not perfect. But let me show you something about this foam board that I really like. I took, after I cut it out, I took, and it's still not perfect now, okay? But I took my sanding block, and you can kind of sand your edges to get some of that, the rough, you know, to make it round like that. And I'm already going to sneeze. Beverly, it will, there will be individual, the gnomes. Okay. It's going to make me sneeze. But you can take your sanding block and sand and get it smooth. That's one reason I wanted to use this. But you could use cardboard. You can use whatever you choose to use. Let me get my handy dandy vacuum out. Uh, <laughs> a nail file. Yes, you can definitely use. A nail file will work. Okay. So, I'm going to... This is what we're going to do, okay? So, let me show you where my mind is going. So, I'm going to obviously do something to this. And here's my... Look how rough the handle looks. But we're going to cover all that up. We're going to fix it. You're never going to know this was foam board. So, I'm going to do that upside down. And... I'm going to put flowers in it, but I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. But we're going to fix this up, and then we're going to put the Hello Spring up here. So, that's where that's where the thought process is going. <sighs> okay. So, my idea was 
I'm going to cover this in scrapbook paper. But where I had the color today, what did I do with it? I have a bottle of paint out here. Where is it? It's Bahama Blue because I've already uh, I've already checked the color. Hang on, let me grab my paint because now I don't know what I did with it. Hang on, I'm coming back. That's not it. What did I do with my Bahama Blue? Let's see. Is this it? No. Y'all, where's my... I'm cracking up, okay? Cracking up. Hey, Sandra, we're good. Glad you're here. Y'all. I don't know where my blue is anyway. So I found a blue that's similar to my paper, which I don't know where it went, but it's real similar. I think that one's better. So I'm just gonna paint the edges of it and hope that it's gonna dry. Yeah, get on the wait list if you want to know about the, uh, the mini subscription box. All right, let's see. So first I'm gonna take this blue. I'm not so worried about this part because we're gonna cover this up with flowers, okay? So I'm just really worried about, and if you did a thin cardboard, you probably wouldn't have to do this part. And I don't know if this is gonna dry. So this is gonna be an experiment for me and you. <laughs> so it's foam board. I cut it out of foam board with my template. Y'all I'm sweating now on this sweatshirt because my heat was on in here. So see, it's painting really good. So I'm hoping it's gonna dry. Just trying not to do it really thick. So you can use this foam board stuff to, to make all kinds of things with. Um, I love using it just because it holds up good and it's light and it's cheap and you're not gonna know this was foam board when we get done. So I just kind of did that. I'm not gonna get it too hot. Oh, Carlotta, you're fine. We just painted a Dollar Tree sign white, and that's all we've done, so. Yeah, I'll post the template. Um, if you're just, just hopping on, you're gonna get a template. It's gonna be in the group. I'm not using those flowers tonight, but you're welcome to use them for this or anything else, and I just got paint on my paper. There's the link to the group Tammy just posted. If you click that link, it'll take you to my community that's associated with my page. And um, just answer the questions to get in. Terry, I did. Thank you very much. You are so, so sweet. I did get that, that bag. You are so, so sweet. Yeah, I have a fan. It's up there. <laughs> I'm good. I'm okay now. Okay. So I'm just trying to... See if this is gonna dry on this styrofoam, yep. Okay, so now we know it dried, so we're good. All right, so now, got my edge blue. It matches somewhat, you know. But you could definitely use a thinner piece of cardboard. But I'll tell you why I chose this in a minute. Oh, Colin must be on, that's my son, my oldest son. And, hey Colin and Paige. That's his wife and Winnie, my grand dog. Let's see. All right, so I'm just gonna trace around this and then I'll cut out my paper. Uh, now, Wendy, you missed part of the sweet sneak peek, but I'll show it again. Those little gnomes that are behind me, that's what one of them was, but I'll show y'all the rest in just a minute. So I'm just cutting out my paper. But I love using foam board. You can do all kinds of stuff. Where did I get the vacuum? Uh, Cynthia, it's in my Amazon shop, but it's it's from Amazon. It's like a little desktop vacuum, and I absolutely love it. It's USB charged. Um, you just charge it up, and but I love it because I vacuum up glitter and floral foam and jute fibers and everything else, but it's wonderful. And when you get it, I have to show everybody, if you get one of these and you want to know, I do this every time, where the cord is, is in the top. In the top, the top slides off, and my cord's not in there, but that's where the, the charging cord is if you get one and don't know where the cord is. Because <laughs> for the life of me, I could not 
figure out where the cord was and then it finally I figured it out. They have it hid so it's all together. And actually, I don't know where my cord is. Hey, Elsie, maybe it's on my, it's probably over here in this cart that you can't even see the cart anymore. I, I promise I clean my craft room and then next thing I know I turn around and it looks like a tornado went through it. <sighs> what link do you need to click? Oh, that's the Amazon store that Tammy just put up right there. Okay, so here's my <coughs> paper. And you can choose whatever scrapbook paper you want to. Maybe that's the wrong side. You gotta figure out what side I traced. Hold on. Um, but you can do whatever color umbrella you would you want to do. And my paper's hanging over a little bit, and I'm okay with that. But I'm going to Mod Podge it on. Uh, yes, I love my tiny pom pom makers. I made those two and i was just i was just like oh my gosh they're so cute and they go for, so fast because they're little and they don't take a lot of uh, yarn so you could have a whole bunch of those before you know it but they're so cute so i'm just painting on my mod podge on my foam board hoping i put it on the right side okay a little more And I'm just using the wet Mod Podge method because um, I would iron it, but this has got styrofoam and it's small, so I shouldn't have many bubbles or anything. Okay. Get my paper on. And I couldn't decide what color to do my umbrella. I went back and forth and back and forth. Um, then I decide on blue. So... Hey, from the Netherlands. Okay, so here's my umbrella. It's not perfect. Nobody's ever going to know. Okay, so now, let's see. Where's my handle? All right, here's the handle I cut out, the paper. And I roughly, y'all see how rough it is. I mean, it is not pretty at all. Okay, so if you cut yours out and it looks like mine, you're going to be fine. Because let me show you what we're going to do. Uh... I'm going to get my good old jute out here. It's on my little spool. And we're going to cover that up. You're smitten with the pom-pom makers. Bonnie, I am too. Um, they just It just makes it so easy. Okay, so I'm going to get that started. Stay right there without burning myself. So I'm just going to cover up my... Um, ugly cutting come on and I'm just gonna wind it all the way around and you could use yarn for this I almost used yarn but see it's starting to cover that up let me turn it this way Pound palms and fabric flowers. Well, of course, blue. Yes. Well, with all the other colors I got going on, I was trying to eliminate, okay, what do I need? I need blue. I need pink. Oh, you're okay, Laurie? You're so in love with the pom-pom makers. I know. Me too. It's all my fault. And I honestly had no idea that it was going to be that crazy. A <laughs> uh, little more. I practiced this today with yarn. I was going to see what it looked like. but um, And my intentions are doing part of it black. But now that I've got this going, I think I'm just going to continue with the brown. Oh, Mary, you fell this morning and you're hurting really bad. Oh, no. Maybe you need to go to the hospital. <laughs> I know. What all have I made with the pom-poms? Probably what y'all have seen. I haven't made anything without y'all I don't think <laughs> so I'm just but see how how good it's gonna look when I get done you're not even gonna be able to tell that that um foam board looks so ratty under there but if you could use cardboard same thing just wrap it up and um you're not ever gonna be able to know that it looks bad under there So the foam board at Dollar Tree is a $1.25 now. Um, 
<laughs> so you could get a lot of stuff out of one foam board. It's really good to have around just to do stuff with. Oh, Cheryl, those are coming out in my shop next week. Next week, probably middle end of the week. The tip of the umbrella needs a small pom-pom. It does, it needs a little bump at the top. The pattern, the pattern actually has one, has a little bitty pointy thing on the top, but I cut mine off because <laughs> it's little bitty, it's real little. Oh, Judy, you, did you try to make the bumblebee? See, I need to try to make the bumblebee. And then I'm gonna try a ladybug. All right, so I'm getting all the way to the end. I'm just gonna kind of dot some glue right there on the little top and see if I can't cover that white up. Kind of go round and round on itself, maybe. It's a dollar twenty-five star. <laughs> I know. I don't think they'll change their name. Do y'all? Uh, you're making pom-poms carry with your foot up. Bless your heart. It's fun. Yeah, it's something you can just sit there and kind of watch TV and not really pay attention to what you're doing. Okay. So I just kind of wound it up on top of each other and covered up the end. But there's my handle. Uh, now, I have little pieces. So I was playing around with this today trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. So my, this is, there's two ways, you know, I always tell y'all, there's two ways you can do this. Well, there's a hundred ways you can do it, but okay. So my, what my intentions were to start with was I was going to cut out and use these templates and I was going to make paper flowers. Okay. And then I was going to use, um, floral wire like this. This is a flower, floral wire. And what I was going to do was use the styrofoam to stick my flowers into the foam. So, but then I changed gears and decided I was going to do something else. I'm going to use uh, artificial flowers. Panda bear. Yes, Barb, I did. I think I saw your panda bear. I think I did. Super cute. Somebody made a teddy bear. Okay, so I'm going to do it at an angle because our flowers are going to be kind of down in there. Ain't a buck no more store. <laughs> oh, that's funny. See, I want, I hope, I want to go to a Dollar Tree Plus, and I haven't seen one. There's not one around me, so I'm hoping that some, one of them turns into one. Okay, so this is how our umbrella is going to look, but we're going to have flowers in it. You can paint the Jeep black, and I actually have my black yarn out here because I was going to do, like, this part black, but I just decided to keep it brown. I didn't want that black just so glaring out at with all this kind of neutral light stuff going on. The five quarter store, there you go, Judy. That's a good one, I like that one, the five quarter store. Okay, so to put my artificial flowers like this down in my umbrella, we're gonna have to raise it off of my the surface. So I'm going to, I cut little rectangles of the foam, bo foam board. I cut little rectangles, I cut three. And I'm gonna glue them like this. So it's gonna raise my board, my umbrella off the board just a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of randomly put them, but not to where you can see them on the outside. So we can stick our flowers behind there. Okay. All right, so it's gonna be like this on my board, and then I'll have like a pocket. You still get money from your birthday from your mom and your aunt. <laughs> okay, so I have like a little space. Now y'all can't see it, but see, yeah, y'all can. See, I'm gonna stick my stems down in that space. Oh, okay, Debbie, I hope they're all a plus because I want to, uh, I haven't been in one. <laughs> You could do gray for the handle. You could. You could do gray yarn. Um, but I used the mineral, so I was kind of going with the brown thing. But these are just, if y'all know me, I have this, this big thing full of Dollar Tree flowers that I've been slowly, I guess, collecting over time. 
but I'm not gonna cut like this whole stem off. I'm gonna do like, you know, they come off like this. <clears throat> so some of them do. So I'm gonna pull some of these off, these pink. So I'm trying to get a, a good variety of color. Let's see what these do. Oh, these pull off too, like that. And like that. It's too small for ours. Mine around the corner for me is, is kind of small too. Got that tag way on up here. Um, but I hope the one that I go to all the time, I hope it's gonna be a plus. Okay, so I got yellow. That may be too many, but that's okay. I won't use them if it's too many. I've got, look at, I love these and I haven't seen these this year. They're called a hot bush and I got these in every color when they put them out and I love them. I think they're so pretty. It's like they, they like flutter or something. Um, what else do I need? Pink, that, I need some purple. So I've got some of the, I think this is Walmart, I think. I've had it so long, I don't even know. But see, I just kind of pull them off and I'm just gonna use the little, little pieces like this. Um, this is Dollar Tree, it's baby's breath. So I'm just gonna see if I can, <laughs> y'all see it snow? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it went everywhere. All right, so I just kind of pull them off like this. And what else, what else, what else? These are real plasticky, but I think I'm gonna use a couple. Cause I want it really full and coming out of my umbrella. Not all Dollar Tree Plus is created equal. I don't even I don't even know how you find out where there is one near you. I don't I've yet to I went on the website trying to um, trying to find out and I, I, I doesn't tell me. No, I got blue. Aren't these pretty? These will just pull right off. Those pretty they're like pink daisies, aren't they gorgeous? And let me tell y'all what I saw. I guess it was, I don't know, last night on TikTok or something. I can't remember. Um, I'm going to wait because I may have enough. Um, there was a lady and she was working with silk flowers, like just like this. And you know how sometimes they look all crumpled and, and bent up? So she had one of those um, clothes, clothes steamers. Y'all you know what I'm talking about? Like a, like a little shark clothes steamer. And she had it sitting on her table and the steam was coming out. And she would just take her flower and like do it in the steam and it would just come out and look so pretty. Um, I was like, oh, I love that. Okay. So now I, this is the part I got to figure out because I got to figure out. Okay. I think I'm going to glue this down. Um, and then I'm going to just start sticking them in there and gluing them down. Okay. So... I'm just gonna kinda, I wanna angle it, not to where it's totally upside down, which you could. I mean, it would look super cute this way. Um, but I just kinda wanna add it, angle it like that, and then I'm gonna put all my flowers in it. Super cute, because I wanna have room for my sign. Oh, okay, Lynn, that's good to know, because I've looked, so there must not be one anywhere near me then. Y'all, I love this. It's going to be so cute. Yeah, now, the, I've seen, I've been in the Family Dollar, um, Dollar Tree store that's combined. Okay, I think I'm going to do it that way. So, all right, let me glue this down. So, let's, that's on my, putting that on my little rectangles. Okay. Like this. Hmm, it didn't say plus on the outside. That's interesting. I haven't been in one though. All right, so for my handle, I'm just gonna kind of put some glue here. Ah, yeah, 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 that was my thumb. Um, put some on the back. And hold that down. Seven different Dollar Tree stores. There's a lot in Memphis. I haven't been to all of them. 
Oh, you just find out when you walk in the store. I have ordered, oh, solo wood or from Dollar Tree. I have ordered from Dollar Tree. Okay, so here is my, I gotta get rid of the glue strings though. Oh, drive me crazy. Okay. Oop. All right, so there's my umbrella so far. Looks all plain until we start adding um, our little stuff. But I'm probably going to cut a lot of these off because they're going to be too long. This is where I'm probably going to have to. And half of them are probably going to stay on their own and I not even have to um, glue them. But I'm going to stick them in there first to see how it's going to look. And I'm going to have to pull off some of these little doodads. Or either just poke them down in here. There's my blue. So I'm just cut. I mean, you see how small I'm cutting them down, cutting it down, and cutting it down some more. So I'm just going to... All right. Okay, I think I'm going to start gluing. <clears throat> yes, the template's going to be on the group page after the live. Yes. So you'll get... Um, I'm just going to put a little glue on there. Um, I'll get off and then I will definitely um, load it up in the group. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the stems and just being real careful not to get it on the sign, which it doesn't really matter because um, the flowers are going to cover it up if you do get some on there. Okay. Could not believe the rope on a roll is so small. Yeah, they have reduced that rope for sure. I'm sure it's the people where they get it from, the supplier or whoever it is in China. Okay. That one's, I don't know what that's doing. <laughs> I don't like that one. It's got little styrofoam balls on it. I don't know what it is, but they, when I did that while ago, it went everywhere. So I'm just kind of poking, you know, white where I need white, pink where I need pink. And then that glue is going to stay. All right, let's see about these yellows. This is, I hope this is going to look cute the way I imagined it. Well, I, like I said, I saw a picture and of an umbrella and it had flowers in it. I know y'all have seen the same thing where it's upside down with the flowers in it. So that's what kind of gave me the idea. And I'm like, how can I get that on a background and make a, make a sign? So that's where this came up with today. I've been sitting here uh, trying to figure it out today. All right, there's my yellow. Okay, so this is what we have so far, but I'm not done. Look how cute. Tracy, it is going to be a template in my, my community, my little group, and you can cut this out like I did. See, I cut mine out, and then I trace it onto foam board. So this is going to be a, a file in the group, and you can go and download it and print it off however many times you want to. Seven Dollar Trees. Wow. They must like Dollar Tree up there. All right. So I'm just poking and looking and seeing where it needs to be. And I'm going to, like this one, I might just kind of poke it here to where it's kind of facing outward. And all of them aren't just going up. You don't know what I'm talking about. To where it's coming, it's going out instead of this way. Let's see what else I have. Oh, these little pink, I already put those in there. Cut that way down. Um, so I'm just kind of putting them here and there, here and there, here and there. Okay. Come on, go down in there. There you go. Now. <clears throat> so purple here's some purple 
just keeps poking and sticking. And I mean, you can go up as high or tall or whatever as you want to. Get down in there, okay? You know, as full or whatever, just whatever your heart's desire. Red and pink. Oh, those are the those are going to be released next week in my shop. Um, of course, they come blank. So, like this one, I'm just going to glue, like I said, to where it's kind of sticking out at us instead of upward. Yeah, now I've seen that, Tammy, where you take the umbrella and you put stuff in it. That is so cute. And I've always wanted to do that and never have. Um, what else do I have? Let's put these in here. I'm cutting off this little doodad at the top. And we'll poke this down in here. Like so. So I'm just kind of getting higher and higher as I go. Oh, we'll, we'll go ahead and add this little doodad since it's um, came off the top of that thing. We'll just poke it in there. And I think I need some more baby's breath. Oh, you're okay, Donna. You can always go back and watch the replay and fast forward to the spot you need. That's what's great about the replay is that you don't have to go through all of the talking unless you just want to. We talk about all kinds of great stuff, right? We do. Sometimes we talk about owls and and eagles and all kinds of stuff we've talked about in the past. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I had to glue that down. Look how cute. I love it. So let me glue this little doodad down. He's wanting to stick out here. And show out some. Don't forget the greenery. Oh yeah, I need to put a little bit of greenery in there. Um, let's see. This looks, hold on. How about this? This is Walmart, I think. I'm actually gonna just kind of poke it here and there. Put some green in between. Green in between. Y'all, I was a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> and stick it in there and give it a little green. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, let's poke this in there. I don't want it to be too much, but got to have a little bit of all of it in here. And I got glue strings for days. Okay, that's a little bit of green. Let's put a couple more greens and then I'm gonna call it done for that part. Okay. I don't like these little things at the top. This is just some, I don't even know what this is called, but it's from Walmart last year maybe. But I'm just kind of filling the spots in with that. strings. How cute. Is that not so cute? Need another blue on opposite side that's already. Okay, so I need a blue. These are, most of these are from Dollar Tree except for the greenery. All of these are, yeah, all of them are Dollar Tree. Let's see. I just, like I'll whack a piece off and then I'll put it back in my stash. So there needs to be blue on this side. Okay. Is that better? Isn't it pretty? Um, let's see. I need something else, something else, something else. These are these little beauty flowers. Because I want some to be, like I said, facing forward. So I'm just kind of sticking it to where it's coming out instead of um, straight up. Does that make sense? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's do this. 
this yellow. I don't know what that is either. But I'm going to glue it down. And then I'm going to bend it forward to where it's facing forward and glue it down. Come on. Get down in there. Get down in there. Let's see if I can't make it face forward. Thank you, Gwen. Okay. Well, it didn't work so good. But anyway, you can see this kind of facing forward. I think that's good. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think I'm going to call it done because I don't want to get too, too much. But I've kind of covered up the holes. But you can tell it's an umbrella. Uh, the umbrella is going to be a template in my little free group that you can print out and cut it out just like I did. And then I cut it out of foam board. Okay, so now we've got to, where's my blue? Here it is. Okay, so there's going to be a pink one if you want to do color. And there's going to be a blue one like that. So I think I'm going to do the blue. But we got to fix our little sign that says, Hello Spring. So I got a whole nother deal for that. Um, where are they? Where did I put them? I had it all laid out here, and I think all my flowers are on top of them. Two, three, four, five. Because I didn't want to just cut out the words and then just paste them on. I wanted to, them to have a little something-something on them. Ah, thank you, Angela. Y'all are so sweet. Um, but like I said, I just saw this picture. Actually, I think it was something on Instagram I saw. A painting or something. I don't even know. I don't remember. And I was like, oh, we need to make that into a sign or something, a craft. I can do that. Okay. So I've got, these aren't the big ones. I don't even know what size they call, but I think they're Dollar Tree, but they're just the craft sticks, the regular tongue depressor size, <laughs> not the jumbo ones. So I think I'm going to put, I got four together and then I'm going to cut this one in half. Um, and use it for reinforcements on the back. Cut the ends off first. So I'm just going to cut it and hope that's long enough. Hope I didn't make it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going gonna, gonna to cut it off a little bit more. Yes, it's so cheerful. I think so too. So I'm going to reinforce these with this for the back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Had to think about what I was doing because I'm going to cut the ends off. So I couldn't glue it too close to the edge like I almost did. So see, see where I, I moved it over because I'm going to cut these ends off. Hey, Beverly, it's good to see you too. I'm glad you're here. All right. So, so I'm moving them kind of closer to the middle so I can cut it. Oh, making you happy, Teresa. Me too, because I am so ready for some flowers and green grass and birds and all the things that go with spring. I'm ready for some green grass and green trees. Okay, so now I have this. And let's see. I'm going to put my sign over here. I got stuff everywhere, and I'm just throwing it on the floor because I can't. <laughs> um, Thank you, Missy. I just... I'm like, how can I make this happen? How can I make this happen? So that's just how it came about. So this is, I'm just going to go over my little sticks with um, white, my white chalk paint. So this is where I'll Mod Podge my little Hello Spring to. Yeah, unlike the snow, yes. Unlike the rain that we've been getting straight for about three days. I mean, seriously, y'all, it, it was thundering so bad last night. It's not supposed to thunder in February. I, I, and it was 33 degrees, pouring down rain, and thundering and lightning in February. That's just not natural. Oh, Shirley, it's, the template's free. It's, I, it's something that I do for y'all so y'all can make what I'm making. So, no, it doesn't cost anything. It's in the group. 
Um, the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. It's totally, it doesn't cost anything. That's just my way of um, giving back to y'all. And so y'all can make some cute stuff and do it just like I did it. And the templates just help. So yeah, I, I was trying to get the right size today and I used a sign that Dollar Tree has right now, which a lot of their signs are already, they're all, you know, usually every season, they're kind of the same size. So um, it's not a big deal, but I, I don't remember how wide my umbrella is. Hold on. Cause I, I'm surprised y'all haven't asked me. And if y'all have, I must've missed it. It is... about six and three-fourths wide. So you probably have some Dollar Tree sign surface something that's that big that you could put it on. And if not, make you one out of cardboard. Um, paint it, do just what I did to it. Paint it with some chalk paint, distress it. You'll never know it was cardboard. I know y'all got some Amazon boxes around there. <laughs> y'all got some extra Amazon boxes like I do. Let me just get that dry really fast, and I'm going to hope I didn't melt my glue. I've done that before. Okay, so I'm going to put my, let me see, maybe I should cut this out first. Oh, Barb, you're so sweet. Well, I just want y'all to have it, too, because I have a program that I subscribe to that lets me make stuff like this, and I know that everybody, you know, I use it for my business to make stuff. Um... And so, I know that everybody don't, doesn't have access to something like that, but you probably have a printer, or you can go to the UPS store or, you know, uh, Office Max or somewhere like that, and they will print it for you for a quarter or something. It's not much, and you can print it off and do the same thing that I'm doing or print it off on your home printer. Um Trying to make, see if I got that straight. I should have got my little paper slicer out so it would be straight, but okay. So I just cut it out. You can all cut it out fancy if you want to. Um, you don't have to, but you can do whatever you choose because it's gonna be yours. So now I'm trying to see where I wanna cut my, now y'all see why I moved my little braces over because I wanted to cut the ends off of this. Come on. Oh, okay. Hey, Rosemary. Judy, you can join the group. Yes, it's um the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. And there's just three questions that you have to answer to, like, do you follow the Turquoise Valentine? You know, do you agree to the rules? That kind of stuff. Faye, I've always heard that too. I've always heard that. And it was thundering up a storm. All right, so now I'm just going to, Kind of touch my edges up right here with this leftover paint that's on my brush where I cut it. Even though I'm going to probably distress it a little. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Tammy. It's Foxy. Foxy, Arlene. Foxy. Sure, Susie. There's a bunch of templates in the group now. And see, mine's not straight, so... Don't get upset if it's not straight, because I'll probably just sit here and see if I can get it straight. I cut that wonky, bad wonky. But that kind of adds to it a little bit, so I'm not too worried. All right, let me get, my, this is my uh, brush that I cut up the other night. <laughs> it looks pitiful, don't it? When I did the stripes on that with and I cut it, y'all see how I cut it? Oh, Lord. So I'm just gonna probably do the edges just so it looks kind of like the background. But you could definitely just Mod Podge your little Hello Spring onto your sign if you want to, but I don't know, I'm just being extra, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, snow, sleet, storm, ugh. I'm tired of that now. Tired of that snow and sleet and stuff. I'm ready for it to go away. All right, let's see how this is going to look. I cut it dang near as big as that, so I really didn't even have to 
have to um, do that little sign, I don't guess. I was just trying to give it a little extra something, something I guess. We'll just cut it down smaller. Okay, so I just cut it a little smaller so that way you can kind of see my little sign behind it. Not that it's going to matter. And we're going to put it right up there. And it would look cute if you just painted it all brown. Hold up. I'm not going to paint it all brown, but. But I'm going to paint a good bit of it brown and then change my mind again. Can I change my mind? <laughs> How many times do y'all get halfway into something and you're like, oh. I need to change that. I don't need to do it like that. I think I'm gonna do this. Maybe that brown's not gonna, I'm just painting the edges that's gonna show. Okay. All right, so that's, we're gonna see. <laughs> we are in a drought and need snow. Oh, we're not in a drought. It's been raining. I bet it's rained three inches in the last three days or more. We have lots of roads that are closed because of the it's flooding and it's crazy. We're just soggy, but it's our rainy season. Okay, so that don't look half bad. So I just painted it roughly, painted it, and it's gonna, see, it's gonna kind of stand out now. Yeah, cute. Okay. I know, I love the umbrella. And you can just do the umbrella and be done with it. Put this in a put this little umbrella in a shadow box, and call it a day. Um, you don't even have to do the little this little sign. And I was just trying to add some wordage. Is that a word? Wordage to it. And I cannot hand letter. My handwriting is terrible. I've never had good handwriting. I try, and it gets worse. So, my way is printing it out like this or stamping it with a stamp. I don't have that gift of hand, beautiful handwriting. My mother had beautiful handwriting, um, and I did not get that gene. Okay. So, I'm just mod podging it to my little shiplap, my little shiplap sign that I just made. So look, it looks kind of cute. Now, if you wanted to get fancy, fancy, where's my, hold on. If you wanted to get real fancy, um, you're making one for your door, um, you could definitely put you some smaller little split ball beads up there on the corners. Make it your own, do your own thing. If you don't have any of these, get you some thumbtacks and snip off the, the sticky part, <laughs> the tack part, and leave the head of the tack. They sell tacks at Dollar Tree, and you could put like little rivets in here and make it look like little rivets. Anything you want to do is fine. It's gonna look good. Think outside the box. Okay, so now the question is, does it need to go like that or like this? I don't know. So, oh, I still see glue strings everywhere. Um, kind of thinking, no, that's too much on that side. It's too heavy. Kind of thinking I'm going to do it centered. But you can do it any way you want to. Maybe down... Yeah, the sign is already kind of raised because it has these on the back. Um, but yeah, you could definitely, I could definitely take the little ends of this and make us raise it up a little bit. I'm glad y'all like it because, like I said, I spent a good part of the day trying to get my dimensions right and printing it out 14 times. <laughs> Going, nope, that's not the right size. Nope, that's not the right size. Nope, that's not the right size. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I printed out a whole bunch of umbrellas today. Straight. The umbrella is slanted. Yes, that's a good point, Lillian. That's a good point. The umbrella is slanted, so the sign needs to be straight. 
And see, my little sign's wonky over here on the side, but you know what? I want it to kind of look distressed and not perfect. If I wanted perfect, I'd go to Walmart and buy me a sign. But anyway, so the center is here. So it needs to be about right there. So that's cute. Middle and a little lower. Yeah, I think it needs to be a little lower like there. Now I just got to get it level. That's another thing with me too. It'll be this way. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna kind of rock it back and put me some glue on my little risers I just made with the ends of those sticks. We're not gonna waste a thing. And we are gonna call this done. Yeah, Deborah, where's my bees? Where are my bees? I got some bees, hold on. Where are my bees? I just had them out because I put them, oh boy, I put them, I just took the whole drawer out because <laughs> I couldn't reach them. Where are my bees? I don't have my bees. Um, this is where I keep like all of my little embellishment, little flowers and stuff, but I do have the next best thing. These came from Hobby Lobby this year. And they're little ladybugs. I think they have the bees too, and I didn't buy them because I have the bees. Um, so I'm gonna put a ladybug on mine. What doesn't scream uh, spring but ladybugs? Ah, I can't take it. Look at him. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I love it. My little ladybug. So, yes, you could definitely have left the holes. You know, this has holes, okay? And you could definitely have left the hanger or put beads on the hanger where you can hang this. You know, mine's probably going to sit back here or in my house somewhere. Um, yeah, or you could, you, could, you could paint a ladybug on here, just a little red dot with black dots and another half black dot, make you a ladybug. Um, you could make little the little pom-poms. You can make the little pom-poms and make all different colors and make flowers like flowers out of them and put them in the umbrella. There's so much you can do. If y'all want to get really fancy, you could totally use uh, these templates that I'm going to give you of these flowers. Cut these out and cut them out of different scrapbook papers and make you some flowers coming out of here. So you don't have to go buy flowers or if you're like me, I have a whole... <laughs> A whole bushel of flowers from Dollar Tree. Um, but just make it your own and do your own thing. But y'all, I just can't stand the ladybug. <laughs> um, but this is so cute. D, the umbrella is a template that I'm going to put in my group for you to go. It's the free group, my little community. Um, and you can cut out your um, umbrella. I'm going to think of the words are going to come in a minute. Um, and I threw my piece, I, I cut it out a foam board and I threw my piece on the floor that I was using because it was in my way. But it's out of that foam board from Dollar Tree or you could use any kind of cardboard, Amazon box, flap off of an Amazon box. I painted the edge of mine just in case you saw it. It would be, and it painted really well. It, it, it dried, it didn't stay wet. Um, oh, a butterfly. So there, okay. Who said that? Sue just said that. There's you a butterfly right there. So you could take this butterfly and cut him out um, and put him on some scrapbook paper and trace him or whatever you wanted to do. Um, and I'm gonna make some paper flowers. I've got some templates, well not templates. I've got some ideas for some paper flowers that we're gonna do. Cause we did fabric flowers last year. <laughs> But let me show you, if you cut this butterfly out of scrapbook paper, okay? Just take him and fold his little wings up like that to where he's like this. So he's 3D like that. Just, you know, fold his wings together and then put glue right here to where he, he is. I'm going to show y'all. Put some glue on the folded part. 
but cut him out of a real pretty paper or something like that. Glue him down like this. And then just kind of bend his wings open like that. So he's 3D and put him on your flowers. How cute. Cute, cute, cute. Um, yeah, sure. Y'all, y'all know the template. I, I love the template and because I know, you know, y'all want to do it and say, well, where do I get the, how do I make an umbrella? So I had to think about it because I was like, how can I make an umbrella? What can I make an umbrella out of? First, <laughs> I had, I was thinking use a plate and cut it like an umbrella. I had all different kind of ideas going on. And then I just settled on the foam board because it's easy, it's inexpensive. Um, but you would never know that that is a piece of foam board under there. Um, I wouldn't hang it outside. Of course, not a lot of this can be hung outside. But, um, yeah, oh yeah, I gotta show you all the stuff next week. Oh, oh gosh. I saw that, Tammy. Okay, so y'all saw the, the gnomes. Everybody's waiting. Y'all saw the little gnomes in case you didn't see them. Uh, I'll show them again. But there, it's just going to be a gnome by itself because I have so many people ask me when I put a set out with has got a gnome in it, they'll say, oh, I just want the gnome. And so I just did a gnome. Um, and these, this is the same gnome. He's just painted four different ways. But... It's endless of how how you can paint these little guys. Um, let me hold his little stand on before it goes off. Okay, so now this right here I'm pretty proud of because I designed this all by myself. Um, Y'all know the square block beads that we did for Christmas. I did them for the uh, nativity scene and stuff. Okay, well they have just gotten upgraded to bunny beads. They are bunnies. So, they, this comes a back piece, two middle pieces, and then a front piece and a tail. And you glue the pieces together to where you have a channel in the middle. And uh, so, it's beads. How stinking cute is that? I love this. Because I've seen them online and stuff. And it's like, I wanted one. So, I sat down and had to think it up. How I could get it to work. Like I did the beads at uh, the block bead things at Christmas. Um, Leah, no. But I've had people ask me. I've got to do one. Um, Laura, you can download it to your computer or tablet. And you print it out on your home printer. Or you can take it to UPS and they'll print it out, the file. It's a PDF file. So this is cute. So see, they're all little pieces. Easy, it's easy peasy. And you'll get the beads, the, the raw beads, and then the pieces that aren't painted. So you can paint them whatever color. So it'll be the beads and the bunnies. Um, okay, y'all ready? I love these two because I designed these two. So I had carrots last year for the gumball machines. Do y'all remember the little carrots? And the little bunnies, those little bunnies, uh, kind of like this for the gumball machines, they'll be back this year too. But check these out. So these are, you'll just get the carrots. You won't get the fabric. You'll get the carrots. And I don't have one that's not done. I should have left one undone. It has a hole at the top. And I'll just do this. Um, to where you can either take raffia, you can take fabric. Uh, I just tore some green gingham fabric, little strips. You can do yarn, and you loop it through that hole and do like a little slip knot, like that. You can see the knots. I slide it through there and loop it back through itself, and you get this. How stinking cute. Um... I've been cutting carrots and bunnies, <laughs> y'all, forever. But how stinking cute is this? So I just kind of do, um, Deborah. it's not private. It's a it's a community that's off my page where you can show uh, all your craft projects, and that's where I put the template. But it's the Turquoise Valentine's cra Crafter's Reveal. Dolores, no, it'll probably be the middle of next week um, that I um, put these in the shop. Will I sell the bunnies separate? Carla, yeah, I think I can do that. I mean, it, I can just do the bunnies and no beads. Kind of like I do everything else. I'll do that. 
Yeah, they'll be in the shop next week, but this is how you'll get them. They'll be blank though. Um, and then, then you take your own fabric, your raffia yarn, whatever you want to put, and you just loop it through there to make the tops of your carrots. So cute, cute, cute. Okay. And then here's the other thing. Now, this is a big thing that a lot of people do every year. And I know that it's hard for everybody to go out and buy all these 10 sizes of beads. So this, you will get the raffia, the jute, and the beads to make these. You'll get a sets to make five carrots. Um, how cute. You paint them however you want to because they they'll be blank. And then I'll have instructions uh, on how to put them together. So look how stinking cute. So you'll get the raffia, the green raffia. You'll get the uh, jute and you'll get the beads. You'll get everything you need except the paint um, to make five carrots. Okay, Carla, I will do that. Put one in the bow of the bunny. Yeah, I could do that, Lori. I could do that. Um, so anyway, so these carrots, okay, these carrots, you get eight, and they are three, three and a half, I think, without, no, they are three and three-fourths without this, and I did them so they would go in the gumball machines, they're, you know, so they're small, so you get eight of these, most of my little mini sets, you get eight, um, you get eight, and then this thing right here, you get enough to make five. The raffia, the jute, and the beads. Everything but the paint. Because um, I know a lot of people, these are everywhere and people want to make them. But, um, yes, Janie, anybody can buy this. It's just going to go into my shop next week. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm, it's just hard for everybody to go and buy this size bead, this size bead, this size bead. this Because there's four sizes of beads on these. And I get them in bulk, like wholesale. So it's easier for me to do it. And then that way you're just buying the kit and putting it together. How cute, cute. And if you wanted to go another step further, you could tie your own little piece of ribbon right here around the top, but you could just leave it like this and kind of work your raffia around and like that. So cute. And just lay them in your dough bowl or on your tiered tray. They're so, so cute though. Yeah, I don't sell my files. I actually, um, I actually bought this file, so I did not design him. Um, I designed the carrots. Well, <laughs> the carrots. I designed these and um, the bunnies. It's a bead like this. But no, I do not sell my files because the ones I design, because I want you know my people to have um, original stuff. You know, I do buy some like the gnome. I purchased this file, um, but I did not design him. So anyway, well, if you don't pay them, you know, I always cut, cut, cut until everybody's pretty much got what they want. So, Wendy, I don't, I, I don't deliver to Australia right now. Um, so they'll be in the shop next week. That's just one, two, three, four things. I've got, there's several other things that's coming too. But I don't have anything painted or done to show y'all right now. Um, hey, Cheryl. Y'all, this, is, this has got to be my fave. I love this. But you can paint yours any color you want. Any color you want. And there's 20 beads and you get two bunnies. And like Carla asked, would I sell the bunny beads individually? Yes, I will sell it without. I'm going to put a listing for just the beads without the whole set. Jan needs it all. Lori, the templates are going to be in my community group, um, uh, the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. Um, it'll be there. So, an easy way to find my groups is if you tap my face, and it'll a little thing will pull up at the bottom, and you'll see the Turquoise Valentine. Click on that. It'll take you to my main page. If you click About, my About section of my uh, Facebook page, click about, and then it'll go down and it'll show you the groups that's associated with my page. And the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal, that is the community group that's free to join. Um, there's like right at 15,000 people in there and they're all stinking talented. 
I see stuff all day long and I try to comment and like and all this. And it's like, oh, it's so much and it's all so good. And yes, um, I can list it out. Like I can go live one day next week and I'll show y'all the colors. But I know that he is wasabi. <laughs> I remember that because it's weird. He is Anita's green wasabi. And I think that's grape taffy purple um, from Michael's. And he is Pink Parfait by Apple Barrel. And then I shaded it with Pink Eraser, I think, from Apple Barrel. And I don't know the yellow and the blue. I can't remember. How do I get all of these done so fast? BJ, I do it all day, every day. And probably some more of that. Like, when I go in the house, I'm going to sit on the couch and I'll be bagging up beads on the couch. Um, so, but the, yeah, I can post the paint colors. But, like, this is, I think that's Dragon Fruit. Lime Sherbert. Dragon Fruit by De Deco Art. This is Lime Sherbert, I think, by uh, Apple Barrel, Grape Taffy, and, of course, Light Turquoise by Anita's. Oh, thank you, Linda. And then this gray is Apple Barrel Light Gray, maybe? Um, and I just put, like, I just tore, my, you know, fabrics that I have and made my tassel, and I just put a little bit of this gray in there so to pull the gray in with him. But this would look cute if you just wanted to do it um, in yarn. Um, some of the yarn we've been using and make your tassels out of the yarn and then paint your beads to coordinate your yarn. Oh, gosh, that would be so cute. Um, night, Patty. Well, the bunnies are just the bunny, the bunny behinds. But you could definitely do a face on that side. Definitely do a face. Um... But these are easy, and I can show y'all how to put them together. They're very simple. It's not hard to do as far as the beads go. But I love them. Yes, Roxanne, I can post the paint colors. Stacey, I haven't even gotten that far yet. <laughs> but y'all know, I try to keep my prices down to where everybody can, you know, afford everything. And it's shipping is free. Um, and I get my paint from Walmart, I get it from Michael's, Hobby Lobby, um, Apple Barrel, uh, my favorites are Apple Barrel, Anita's, and, uh, the, the Michael's brand. That's probably my favorite. Ameri well, no, Deco Art, did I say Deco Art? Americana, Apple Barrel, Anita's. That's probably my three that I use a lot. Oh, the Bumblebee. See, there's my little bees. I put my little bees on him. Isn't he cute? See? And this, this little guy is so easy to paint and, and just zip right through him. But look at these little beady eyes. <laughs> Isn't he cute? And I normally don't like gnomes with eyes, but I can tolerate him. He's cute. Um, I love this little guy. The little bee. <laughs> There's Bonnie Ray Apple. Her last name is Apple. Yes, Carla, I try to be reasonable and not, you know, because I just, I don't know, I just like to try to keep it down where everybody can afford a piece or something, you know. I know, I love the colors, and that's why I had to paint so many of these little guys, because I didn't know what, I, I, I couldn't help it. But I know he's wasabi. Uh, Anita's wasabi is what color he is. And grape taffy by Michael's Craft Smart Paint. But I know Apple Barrel has uh, equivalent to some of those colors. Woo. Um, Gwen, the la these ladybugs came from Hobby Lobby and I got them this year. And I think they had bees too, but I already had the bees that I ordered on Amazon. Um, so I didn't need to get those, but I think Hobby Lobby has them too. But you know, they're 40% off of $3, but I know Amazon sells them too. Um, 
go back in your comments. I told you how to locate the Dollar Tree store. Myron, I think I saw that you said um, if I look online, it'll say beside it. I know. I love the bee gnome, too. I need to do a ladybug gnome and do red with dot, black dots and put ladybugs on him. Cute. I missed how to do the ladybug. The ladybug? Where I got them? Hobby Lobby. I don't know what you're meaning. Yes, Patricia, I try to do that. Because my stuff is light, so it's not heavy anyway. Um, Darlene, I need to check into that again to see. Um, but I've got people here that I mailed stuff to the first week of February. And they're just now getting their stuff. And it's, it's crazy. Oh, Andy, you're sweet. Yeah, the, the, these are Hobby Lobby. And I want to say that they have the bees at Hobby Lobby. But I can't remember. Um, and maybe they had them and I didn't buy them because I already had them. Maybe that's what it was. Yes, Stacy, you need to paint your coffee kit. Hey, Suzanne. Had both bugs this week. Oh, Lori, they had some too? See, my Dollar Tree hasn't got hardly anything out right now. Yeah, I need to do a ladybug one. Three gnomes. Are, just one, it's just one gnome. Because like I said, I, I'll put out a tear tray set with a gnome in it. And then I have people, abundant of people, who contact me and say, Hey, I just want the gnome. I just want him. I don't want the whole set. And so this time around, I said, well, I'm just going to put out a gnome. And I just thought this was a good size. Uh-oh, Beverly's making a bumblebee. They do have the bees at Hobby Lobby. Okay, Penny, that's what I thought. I thought, I remember, I remember seeing them, and I think they were right next to these guys in the spring section. And um, that's why I didn't buy them, because I already have them. But that's been several weeks ago. Okay, good, Candy. You got your coffee kit. Okay, Linda says they do have the bees. <laughs> Jody, you missed, Jody, you missed the... Um, that's this, what we did tonight. Um, night, Carol. Um, and then I showed the gnomes. And then these carrots. Let's see, where's the one? Okay, so you get just the carrot. Like, you get eight carrots like this. And then you paint them and then you put your yarn or your raffia or whatever fabric like I did at the top. You just do a slip knot through that hole and it turns into this. How cute. And then I'll have kits to make. You'll get everything in here except the paint. You'll get the raffia, the jute, and the beads to make five carrots. Oh no, Myron. I hope you're okay now. Bless your heart. Just need the bunnies because I have Hobby Lobby colored beads in. Yes, they have the Hobby Lobby colored beads that people are painting. And then here's this set. So I'm going to offer just the bunny beads by themselves or the whole set with the beads and the bunnies. So the, there are pieces that you put together. It makes that bead. So cute. But how pretty would this look um, in neutrals? If you just did like a cream and a brown, like stain the beads in a cream, white, and brown, or a gray, and did this all neutral, that would be beautiful. Now I want to do one. <laughs> That'll be on my list this weekend. <laughs> Got your coffee kit too. Good. Amy, I just, I did the stain technique with a baby wipe on the brown, and it's, I think it's burnt umber. And the only thing I did different was I dry brushed white paint over the perk up sign. That's really all that's different that I did. I know, Jody. I love it all too. My little carrots. Look oh, at my carrots. Aren't they cute? I got to take pictures and stuff of them so I can get ready to put them on the site so I can put them in my house. <laughs> I want to put them in my dough bowl. But your beads come like this. And you'll get raffia. You get a long piece of raffia and a long piece of jute to make all of this. Uh, th yeah, they're in the spring section, the little ladybugs. They're in the spring section. 
And I think the bees were hanging right next to them. So you can get these little bees. They got smart this year and they got the ladybugs and the bees because last year they didn't have them. There's the bees. See, people are still waiting on their stuff and I mailed it over a week ago, it's crazy. Kathy, I will post and I'll text about when I'm listing them. It's going to be probably middle of the week toward the end, between Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. One of those days, probably. Black and white with buffalo plaid ribbon. Judy, don't you know that would be adorable? And see, I have this, this gray and white uh, ribbon. Wouldn't that be pretty? It was gray, all gray and white. Or like I said, like a off-white with like linen, the linen fabric or yarn uh, and do neutrals. This would be so pretty. Lydia, I have not even thought about how much I'm gonna ask. Um, I saw carrots made out of two shims painted orange. Sheila, I did shim carrots not last spring, but spring of 2020 when I first started. I made shim carrots way back then. So you can go back in my videos way back and find it and I did those yeah the the clay is Hobby Lobby or uh, Amazon or Michaels has it Hobby Lobby is probably the best place because they'll rotate their sale and it'll be on sale Beverly yes on my on my site yes it's credit cards and uh, PayPal yes thank you Tammy I know the B Renee wants some little trucks. Yes, I will put that on my list, Renee. Uh, they'll be in my shop, Lydia, next week. Right, Nancy? I mean, the mail is just insane. Since we had that, the ice storm come through, that kind of put a halt on a bunch of stuff. And I've had people's stuff that's been all around the country. And I'm not even kidding. Okay, that'll be fine, Lorraine. I, it'll probably be closer to Friday when I do it. Um, hey, Pam. Uh, Holly, it's... I don't have my sign up here because I knocked my sign off up here. And one of the numbers came off and went behind my bookcase thing over here. So, I haven't gotten dug it out yet. Um, it's 662-339-8186. Um, Oh, show the finished craft, somebody said. Ta-da! Isn't it pretty? Make sure you cut plant. Donna, I have been. I'm telling you, there's a mountain of cut stuff on my table. Oh, Becky, that's cute. Yeah, put a little stain. But here's what we did tonight. And the template, blue or pink. I'll have to label them. And I'll probably have to do it in separate posts. I don't think it'll let me do it in one post. Um, there's pink. And then there's the blue that I used. But, and both of them have the um, black version. And then there's flowers on there if you want to use those template flowers for something else. Because I was going to go a different direction. And then um, I changed it to doing real, real flowers. Well, silk flowers. I know, I love this. Uh, 339 8188. Lydia, if you text join to that number, um, you'll it'll add you to my list automatically. And so every time I send out a text to everybody, it goes, you know, you'll get it. Uh, Angie, it is 662 339 8188. Let me see if I can do this. This probably will be best. And then y'all can screenshot it. How about that? Six, six, two, because I got to get my sign back up since one of my numbers went into the abyss. Okay, so here it is. You can screenshot it. Y'all see that? Here we go. So that way you can add it later and uh, just text join to that number. Okay, Julie, you had to leave and come back, but there it is. Oh, Stephanie, welcome, welcome. All the baby boomers retire, slow down, everything. Yes, I don't, I don't know, but it's the mail service has just been like 
I don't know. I think they took like a, a week off last week or something. I don't know. But it was a holiday Monday, so that slows everything down. So, um, what color is the green on? He is Anita's paint. It's called wasabi, like the Japanese wasabi sauce. That's what color he is, and that's Grape Taffy by Michaels. So, that's what color he is. His little boot. Look at his little striped legs. Isn't it cute? See his little boots? <laughs> I can't stand it. Night, Rose. Oh, the Laurie is the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. Like revealing your crafts for y'all to reveal your stuff. The weather and lack of mail carriers. Okay, Carla. I kind of figure that they're like everybody else. I can't get anybody to work. But, yeah. Hey, Donna. Thank you, Sheila. But, yes, I love how this turned out. I'm pleased. Thank you, Tina. Yeah, there it is. Judy just posted the Turquoise Valentine Crafters Reveal. So, you can post your crafts. It doesn't matter if it's stuff that I showed you or whatever. You can post whatever in there. Any of your stuff that you do. Oh, thank you, Patricia. Yay, Jeannie. I'm glad y'all are here. Hey, Kelly. Look what we made, Kelly. Don't you need an umbrella? Isn't it cute? That's my friend. So, anyway, I'm going to hop off, guys. And uh, there's Tammy. She posted the group. You can click that link and it'll take you to it. You just answer three questions. But thank y'all for hanging out with me and showing y'all the cute cuteness of all the little stuff. Um, 881 on the card. I don't know what that means. Can we show you what? Yes, you can post your crafts on my page. It doesn't matter what kind of craft it is or where you saw the craft or anything like that. You can post any craft. I mean, whether you paint or quilt or whatever. Yeah, feel free to post your crafts because we love to see it. And um, if you have questions about how to do something or what kind of paint or, you know, there's be people that's going to come on and help you um, that either know or, you know, somebody will come on and say, oh, this is what you use or, oh, this is what you do. So, yeah. Yeah, Janie, I do. It just... It sells out so fast, and then I have to cut to keep up. But, um, yes, I will be, next week I'll be loaded up all the spring stuff. Yes, Lori, the little, you made them out of the puppies out of the little bitty bottles. That's so cute. Night, Beverly. Oh, Jeannie made her bunny butt today. Yeah, a lot of people are making the bunny butts right now and pom-poms. So, when you get in the groove, you're going to see pom-poms and bunny butts. <laughs> um, night, Pam. Night, Tammy. All right, guys. I will see y'all Monday. Yes, Billy. I will. There'll be. It'll be the end of next week when I put the gnomes and all this spring stuff in. And there's other stuff that I haven't showed y'all. I just haven't painted it, whatever yet. Um, and then I'm putting the template for the umbrella in the group, so it'll be there for you to print off. So I'm about to go do that now. Good night, guys. I'll see y'all Monday. Love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.